Hello everyone, this is Pranav from Spark Industries. Today I am going to demonstrate a device which is a current simulator for 4 to 20 milliampere. So let's go ahead and see how the device looks. So this is a simple device that I have buy buyed out from uh, Amazon. I have given a link below where you can buy this device. So you can see so it's given like you know it's a 4 to 20 milliampere signal loop generator. The device is very simple. You have a, you have a button from where you can decrease the current from negative to positive. So it starts from 3 milliampere and the maximum it can reach is 20 milliampere though it is written from 4 to 20 milliampere but the minimum is 3 milliampere the device is pretty simple it has two wire input so you can give positive and negative there are screws that you can use to tighten tie it up So what are the things that I am going to use it right now? So you need couple of jumper wires, couple of jumper wires for connection, then you need a 9 volt battery, so I am using this battery for connection giving an input to this uh, device and then I am using a multimeter a simple multimeter you can see with probes uh, you can measure the current whether it is working the device is functioning properly or not so I have used this whole medium and then I have used some alligator pins so these are the alligator pins these are optional you can use it if you want to make the circuit uh, you know, easy so these are the things that I have used so let's so simply I want to show you a simple connection first where you can see you know how uh, so the voltage can uh, just make sure that you know it uh, it needs voltage from 6 uh, volt to 24 volt so I am here and 9 volt is ok for us so this device is pretty good use on the jumper wires so I am saying a positive should go to this is the positive wire the red one it's coming out of this battery so we can use this positive wire as an input I am using one jumper wire female to female mm. sorry female to male should be my requirement I'm taking out from that one. You can see that. Get an input from that one. And this male part you can connect to this. the 
positive side of battery for the spin. Positive side goes here. connecting this to the negative side so you can see the connection is pretty straightforward the positive end this one the positive end goes to positive end of this one and the negative end goes to the negative side this one now you can see the reading has come up you can see 20 milliampere show right 20 milliampere pretty simple now with using this button you can reduce the voltage minus side it means it is decreasing minimum it is given 4 but it reaches to 3 milliampere ok you can increase also so this is the simulation when we are in using any uh, in our code you can see that you know this is decreasing as well the current and maximum it reaches to 20 milliampere 21 milliampere rather so the device is very simple I have used in my code to simulate uh, the 4 core 20 milliampere current so this is pretty simple. Now I'll use my multimeter to connect at an series and read the current. Whether it is showing the right reading or not, I'll just use my multimeter. Now this is pretty simple. Just remove this negative side keep the positive side connected as is I will bring multimeter and picture so this is my multimeter you can see uh, start so one of the things that you need to take care that you know you are using the voltage side only this is volt connection is towards volt don't make it for the current side so this is one of the hacks that I have seen so you don't have to so this red one 
don't have to connect to the current one use the voltage only change it to the 200 milli ampere current side okay so i'm zooming it out so that you can see how the connection is the probes should be connected to the voltage side only this not to the current side keep it to the voltage side the button this button should be for the current side make it to the current side make a connection now you just have to connect to the so i'll use one wheel to wheel uh, jumper wire i'll take this side negative side connect this wheel jumper to it and this probe the negative side of the probe i'll connect to this jumper wire so Sorry. Use this alligator pins. So I'm using this alligator pins. I've connected this connection negative side to the positive side of this to this multimeter. So you can see this alligator pin. I connected to this multimeter. So this is what on the negative side of the multimeter. Directly to the negative side of battery. So you can see connected to the negative side of this multimeter to the negative side of negative wire of this. This completes your circuit, and you can see your multi your device reading is your circuit okay so let me explain you so you can see let me dip it circle let's make a round circuit so that you understand this positive side and this positive side of the battery simply goes to your device okay this one simple trick is you have to get the negative side probe so this is my the negative side now the negative side is coming out of this device to the positive side of your volt multimeter so this is the positive side red one so this red one is connected to the negative side 
from the multimeter and the negative one that is the black dot this black side of the probe is connected to the negative side of the battery that's your loop completes pretty simple Now you see, I can see the reading, right, you can see the reading is 20 milliampere and on the multimeter you can also see 19.2 milliampere. So there is a slight variance, I don't know why but there is a slight difference but to show you how it works let me reduce it now if i reduce this button if you see i am reducing it it's further reducing see So to be sure, let's see 9.55 and here my multimeter shows 9.5 as well. Let me see. You see the reading 7.8, 7.7. So this is the way where you can you know, make sure that your devices or the simulator is working fine as you can see now you just have to replace this multimeter with your uh, capturing device or raspberry pi or RDN and take this ready so that's all I have guys let me know if you have any queries I'll post uh, the device link from where I have bought this and this makes things simpler I mean you don't have any pressure transmitter differential level transmitter so you can use this simulator to just see if your program or logic is functioning properly thank you everyone thanks thanks for watching this if you like it, please subscribe this channel and post more videos where I will demonstrate you how I have used this device in my code and try to simulate 4 to 20 milliampere applications. Thank you very much.